How you doing, YouTube? Matt with Massive Beer Reviews, back to get another review. A uh, little bit of farmhousey, collaborative, uh, hard to say, beerness in the form of the brewery. It's their tarot. It's I'm gonna butcher the shit out of this, like I do most things. It's the Ingongo, in Ingongo, Ingongo. Anyway, it is a saison aged in oak fooder. Uh, with a New Zealand wildflower honey and lemon balm and chamomile added. Mm. Um, yeah, I have not had a brewery beer in a million years. Uh, I can't tell you the last time I had it, but I wanted a chugger. I went to my local bottle shop and I was talking to one kid down there and I was like popping around and he was popping off a bunch of suggestions. He says, how about this? You know, it's seven bucks. It's, you know, it's, it's a chugger. It's not a big beer. And I was like, hell yeah, man. Thank you very much. So yeah, um, what else does it say in this bottle? Fooders with friends. It says down here, it says, in collaboration with Garage Project, Art Street, Wellington. Um, I believe that's who they're collaborating with. And because on the back here, it says, brewed and bottled by the brewery Tarot, uh, Placentia, California. And this is in collaboration with our New Zealand friends. Uh, this is bottle conditioned with wildflower honey. Um, got a little date stamp here. Kind of hard to see. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I can't see. Anyway, um, yeah, like I said, uh, it's a wild, enticing nectar. So, yeah, it's a Saison with a food and fooder and oak. A whole bunch of stuff going on. I think it's pretty much at 45 degrees. They want you to serve it at. It's probably more towards 50. Best served in a tulip or wine glass. Close enough. Done and done. I like the label. It's like a movie ticket kind of st thing going on there. You check it out. Um, very movie ticket-ish. But the artwork's cool. I dig it. Hopefully the beer is much the same. Yeah, like I said, last time I had a brewery beer, I couldn't tell you. And that's last time I had one. I, uh, you know what? That's not true. Last time I had one, my buddy Steve, who you've seen on here once or twice, uh, he brought a Black Tuesday vertical to a share. So that's the last time I had a brewery beer. But the last time I reviewed one, the last time I had one on my own, like a smaller one, nothing too crazy. It's been a long time. It's been one of those breweries where they hit our area. And not that they died off, but, I mean, the brewery, has that thing about them where they don't want to make an IPA and they don't want to put stuff in cans. So they tend to sit a bit nowadays because that's what people look for. Not necessarily myself, but what most people look for. But I haven't had any either, so maybe I'm part of that problem. Uh, two fingers, uh, infinite creaminess up top. Uh, pretty uniform bubbles, you know, medium and small ones kind of peppered throughout. It's got a soft tease to her. Um, nice, beautiful kind of carbonation. There has to be an agitator in this glass somewhere that's just bits and pieces of funk on the bottom i believe generating that you actually see little bits and pieces of something um do i know what that is i don't know um it could be parts of well chamomile maybe um yeah probably chamomile i would assume uh and it's just a pretty beer pretty's the name of the game on this one yes she looks what i wanted when i went into the bottle shop i was like i want something specific and i didn't know what how can you want something specific and not know what? You're me. This looks like kind of what I was looking for. It smells of what I'm looking for. Nice, rich, um, slightly tart, uh, funky saisoniness. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of kind of a herbally um, kind of hoppiness to it, and a nice kind of like spicy white pepperiness to it. There's a tartness to it, but it's nothing too crazy. It's more of a kind of slightly funky beer as opposed to a sour beer kind of tartness. She just smells pretty bright, summery, very not today. It's no all day to day here in Northeast PA, so I guess I want a little bit of sun in my life. Let's dive in, see what she's got. Cheers. Mm. It's interesting. It's got a really earthy vibe to it. Very dirty. And this is a good thing. It's not a negative thing. That's the thing that jumps out to me. It has that bright kind of saison, um, typical peppery, spicy, little bit of funkiness to it. But there's this earthy component to it. I think it's just the way the wood tannins in this particular fooder are coming off. It, it's not a char kind of thing. It's not a kind of super over the top, like 
a fresh oak vanilla tannin kind of thing. It's more of a dirty kind of use like this. If food has seen some time and some uh, some battles along the way and kind of produces a little bit of kind of more of a more of a very I can't, I just can't get the word earth out of my out of my uh, out of my brain that adds this level to the saison that I'm not usually getting from most saison. That's that's a chugger. That's what it is. I went into the bottle shop and said, I want a chugger. I want something with depth. I want something with layers, and I want to chug something. I went through a bunch of different stuff. And there was some of the fine beers on the shelf that I passed because their price points are absolutely bonkers. But I kind of knew what I was looking for, but I didn't. And But I wanted something new also. And uh, this is exactly hitting the spot where I wanted to kind of poke or brush or scratch, I guess you'd say. Uh, it, it's got enough kind of uh, traditional kind of farmhouse vibes to it to kind of turn me on. While at the same time, it takes it a step further with a little bit of that tartness that's borderlining on acidity. Um, the wildflower honey, the chamomile, all those bits and pieces, they almost come off as a, a yeast thing for me. The honey, it's not sweet, but it is kind of, I guess, used that as an extra sweetness to kind of brew the beer. I don't know, but I usually get a little bit of a kind of thick buttery vibe when I get a lot of honey in beers. I'm not really getting that here. Um, it's that added component of the food and it really does it for me though because it, it adds that kind of, like I said, kind of little kind of sultry dirtiness to an otherwise super bright and super welcoming beer that makes it super tasty, fun, and super chuggable. I like this. I don't know what else to talk about. There's so much going on and I kind of feel confused by it. Those are some of the beers that turn me on the most. So yeah, I, I just like it. How about we go that, there? Uh, like I said, what did I say? It was um, ABV wise, smaller beer, super chuggable, super drinkable. Good stuff. I mean, and that's the thing, the the, the wild portion of the brewery show, the Tarot stuff is typically fantastic. I just haven't picked any up and this kind of makes me kick myself in the ass for not picking up more of it uh so i'll have to rectify that um so let's talk about it it's one of the better uh wood hit farmhouse beers that i've had as of late yes i've had some pretty bad ones um as you can see if you want to go back and watch a review from a couple weeks ago um but uh this one's pretty damn fucking fantastic i've had some other really good ones too so um yeah definitely hit the spot for me valued availability like i said seven bucks and it's sitting on the shelf for me I don't mind that for these little kind of, I mean, it's not even a 750, it's more like a 375 milliliter bottle. I don't mind that. And leave you with, if you like what, will you like this? If you like uh, oaked beers, if you like Saison, and if you like that kind of earthy kind of dirtiness, it's not hoppy earthiness, it's more of kind of just a terroir, taro, I guess you would say thing, um, where it just tastes of a farm, if that makes any sense. And if those are the kind of things you dig, then you'll dig this. So there you go. Another review in the books. Down there if you want to talk about it. Uh, type Massive Beers in Google if you want to find me doing other stuff in the social media aspect. Type in Beer Massive, M-A-S-S-I-F, into the Google and you find me doing a podcasting thing. And there you go. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the review. Hopefully you're enjoying a nice brewery beer right now. And hopefully see you next time. Cheers.